Hi, everybody. This is Mike. Today, we're going to be talking about the December position report that was just released. This is the fifth position report of the 2023 crop year. And really, this was good news. Really, it's the second position report that's up for the year. But this one almost means more. Expectations for this report were low. Most people expected, I guess, the industry... Um, the industry's expectations were that it was going to be flat. However, shipments came in at 9% up. Uh, that brings your year-to-date shipments down 2%. So we've improved our year-to-date position. Um, the shipments were really driven off of the export markets. They were up about 23% for the month of December, driven predominantly by the Middle East, India, um, and Europe. The domestic market has continued to be a head scratcher. They were down 18% for the month and they are down about uh, 9% for the year. So the domestic market is still lagging. The export markets are starting to catch up. So maybe a weak dollar is helping kind of incentivize export sales. So that's the, the shipments for the month. The Sales that were made during the month of December were about 235 million pounds, which was much better than expectations. So very active December, um, which hopefully will translate into good shipments in January. Lastly, crop receipts are at 2.4 billion pounds. So I think that kind of puts ending expectations uh, probably in and around 2.5, maybe just over a 2.5 crop. That's within the context of a objective estimate of 2.6. So what does this all mean? Almond pricing has really just been on a downward trajectory for quite some time now. It feels as though this number will help solidify what we think is maybe a floor on pricing. On the buildup to this position report, we've been seeing quite a bit of demand, active buyers from pretty much every corner of the world. So Hopefully, with a little bit of a turn in sentiment, demand continues and we can see a slightly firming market or at least see uh, the stop of pricing continuing to ease. Another thing we should probably talk about is all the rain that we've been getting in California. Uh, it's been one storm kind of after another. There's been flooding in some parts of the state, uh, some property damage. Generally, I think this is good news for California. Uh, technically, they would say that we're still in a moderate drought. Uh, however, for this time of the year, we're well above where we normally would be. So more storms kind of on the way. Looks like next week we'll have three to four days worth of rain, depending on the part of the state that you're in. Um, but I think this is kind of what we were all hoping for. So we'll continue to keep you updated uh, with what the market does from here. But generally, expectations are good. So thank you very much. This is Mike.